But I've been in churches where people say, but you're on a journey. You're just on a journey. You just you just not quite got there yet. You just you know it's okay that you're living in sin. It's okay that you 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 you're living with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You know, time will sort that out. God will give you time to change. He'll give you time to repent of your sins and so on. You're on a journey. Yeah, that's true. You are on a journey without Christ, but you're on a journey to a place of execution. Or in this case, eternal punishment, which is even worse. So that's the journey that they're on, and they need people to come and tell them, look, wake up. You know, awake thou who sleepest, and Christ will give thee light. God will shine his light upon you. You'll see really where you are. And, you know, stop comparing uh, this with this. Oh, this. My life's all right. This life's okay. But I think my life's probably better. Never mind all that. Look at the row of pens that stretch out the door and down the road. Look at the, the eternity that's waiting for you. And... Look at your life in the light of that. Because that's reality. And if you want that life, eternal life, it's in Jesus, isn't it? He is the life. He's the one that gives it. The Bible says, uh, uh, whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son does not have life. You don't have eternal life unless you have Jesus Christ living within you.